Hello, Commander. We've all read your official reports. While they seem comprehensive and quite detailed, you'll understand that we must debrief you personally about said operations leading up to the incident on Liberty Island last week. Now, based on what you've been telling us, this all began at your meeting with known arms dealer Emilio Pascal. It's also where you claim to have found the first of the device segments. So, fill in the blanks for me, Commander. Start from the beginning. bottom right corner will highlight with dossier text if you are looking directly at someone. Press the button and you'll receive information on them. It might prove to be useful. Try talking to that guard that's blocking the door. You'll need to get by him to meet with Pascal. Gotta pat you down again. Raise your arms, please.
bottom right corner will highlight with dossier text if you are looking directly at someone. Press the button and you'll receive information on them. It might prove to be useful. Got to pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. <laughs> Saw a guy once who tried hiding a gun in a crapper. Didn't turn out too good for him. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget to move like that. All right, you're cool. Go on in. Oh, that is deliciously scandalous, darling. And with our guests returning... Ah, perfect timing. Our dinner has been served, and I, for one, do hate to negotiate on an empty stomach. Although, as I mentioned previously, the shipment you are interested in is already spoken for. Don't be so hasty, love. You never know what can be revealed during a polite dinner conversation. Yes, this is true. Please, join me. Now tell me, since you know I've already promised the shipment to someone else, why were you so insistent on this meeting? An operative must first be skilled in the art of conversation. Once mastered, these skills can be used to harvest intel, build trust, and even become delicate interrogations. This is Mr. Smith. He has stolen corporate data and needs transport out of the country. You are to gain his trust and be that transport. Begin. I, I guess so. Small talk has its place, but this is too vague. Try again. No, I haven't. Why do you ask? Interesting choice. Now before we proceed, remember you must guide the direction of a conversation correctly. Otherwise, the subject may get suspicious of you. Suspicion could change the outcome of the interaction. It might send you down a path that's not in your best interest. Let's continue. Yeah? Good for you, but why are you telling me this? Good. You have him curious. Proceed. Not sure. You're assuming too much. Try a different approach. You... <laughs> um... what? That was idiotic. Yes. Yes, I am. Nicely done. We'll make an operative out of you yet. So, why are we chatting? I am competent enough to understand that. Are you really going to sit here and waste my time? That's a bit insulting. I'm a simple businessman, nothing more. Ah, the direct approach. You've discerned that I'm a man who wastes little time. I like that. But I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even finishing. Uh, Captain Wilson, how much longer? There. We have 20 minutes to complete this delightful meal. While you tell me how you came about this information about my dealing with the Kilonthra rebels or um, freedom fighters, or whatever it is they're calling themselves this week. A good question, darling. I'd like to know that myself. Is this one capable of such a thing? <laughs> I think not. Have you completely lost your bloody mind? God! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So, why are we chatting? Ah, the direct approach. You've discerned that I'm a man who wastes little time. I like that. But I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even finishing. Uh, Captain Wilson, how much longer? There. We have 20 minutes to complete this delightful meal. While you tell me how you came about this information about my dealing with the Kilontra rebels or um, freedom fighters, or whatever it is they're calling themselves this week. A good question, darling. I'd like to know that myself. I find that hard to believe. Cut from the same cloth, are we? You don't have to reveal your source. I respect that, even. What is known is known. However, indulge me. For my own amusement, really. Why should I risk my reputation and sell you something that is already spoken for? We're bluffing, more likely. Let's go check, darling. I think this meeting may have a pleasant ending after all. Very well. But for your sake, I do hope you're not wasting my time. Pascal's account and make it look like you transferred the funds. A heads up would have been nice. Okay, looks like you have only about 60 seconds for him to verify and return. He's still suspicious from the direction you took that conversation. Look around and see what you can dig up while he's distracted. The tech in your contact lens can locate areas of interest. Use your index finger and touch your temple to activate it. Nothing. No, you are not. It's all there as you said it was. <clears throat> Perhaps some more champagne is in order. Do fetch us a bottle, darling. Of course. I'll tell the Galantras that the shipment was intercepted. Fun their money, maybe. They will be furious. We'll end up crawling back again at some point. I'm sure of it. <sighs> a toast to our new business relationship. my friend. All will be concluded when we land. What I'm going to do is give you a tour of the outside of my plane. <sighs> Darling? It's not champagne, but it still goes pop. If I die, how can I talk? You know, in my line of work, a gun to the head doesn't intimidate easily. If 
you shoot any part of me, my guards will be here before you can suck down your final breath. I wouldn't be so mouthy if I was in your position. I'm not afraid of death. sucked off by rapid decompression. Nice. I remember the last time we did that. Nasty way to go. Okay, okay, you've made your point. It's close. The shipment is close. How close? Is it here on the plane? No, outside. Right there. You can see it. Done and cannot be reversed. Now I have a gun pointed at us all, I think. Doran. Can you hack into the plane's flight deck and bend the gas in the cockpit? Negative. I don't know how Pascal planned to get out of this one, but there's no system in place to vent that gas. You're not getting into those plane controls. I believe I'm sure he has an escape plan in place, we just have to find it. Well, you better find it fast, because the autopilot on that plane is only going to last for a few minutes before you go into a free fall. Try scanning a different spectrum with your lenses. Touch your temple to cycle through your options. You've done it a million times. Play this. We've been in worse situations before. Understood. Help me activate it. Couldn't hide any extra mags in this outfit, so make our shot count. Your standard issue sidearm is a custom built 10 millimeter automatic. It's a stopping power of a 45 with twice the range. It's equipped with a digital round counter. Now, let's load up a magazine and see what I'm working with. Introduce some moving targets. I'm what you really want. Excellent. Impressive. Keep your aim steady. Keep trying. Which one were you aiming at? Mind. Let's move on to secondary firing mode. 
Agency guns come equipped with a standard backup option. Depending on the firearm, it may need to be recharged or require a secondary ammo. Go ahead and begin. difficult when the targets shoot back. Every operative must excel at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Any prior training you've had, toss it out. Get all of it. In the real world, there are no forms, no traditions. Treat every fight like a street fight. The only rule is that there are no rules. Now, show me what you can do. That's good. Better. Pay attention to your opponent when fighting. A flash of red is alerting you to an incoming attack. A green flash shows you when your opponent is vulnerable. When that happens, throw everything you've got at them. Solid hit. block.
that is, but I'd recommend using the scanner and your lenses. There might be something down here you can use.
Amazing that you and your teammate, Ana Romero, were able to make it out of there in one piece. Hard to believe, actually. That's all, folks.